Uh, today in class, we talked about the properties of multiplication. We talked about three different ones. Um, and actually, we talked about these at the beginning of the year also when it came to addition. The same properties apply to addition and multiplication. All we have to do is just change this from adding to multiplying. All right. Uh, so the first one is commutative property uh, uh, multiplication, uh, which says A times B is the same thing as B times A. Uh, what we see here, we have 9 times 3, which is the same thing as saying 3 times 9. Okay, and let's put this into practical use. Let's say, for instance, we have a problem like this, 8 times 35. Now, technically, 8 times 35 should be written like 8 on the top times 35 on the bottom. But uh, we can change this around using the commutative property of multiplication. Uh, and we can put 35 on the top and 8 on the bottom. It makes it a little bit easier to solve for us. It still gets the same product. So no matter which way we change it around, we can put 8 on top or 35 on top, you still get the same exact answer. All right. The next one is the associative property of multiplication. A times, and then in parentheses, B times C equals, in parentheses, A times B times C. Now what this changes around is not so much the, uh, the factors themselves, but change the order in what we do the factors in. So let's say for instance we had um, in the first one 7 times 4 in parentheses times 25. Um, we can change the factors, I mean sorry, the order in which we want to do the factors here. So. I know, for instance, 24, uh, 25 times 4 is easier to solve. 25 times 4 is 100. So instead of doing 7 times 4 first, I want to do 4 times 25 first. So I change the order. I put the parentheses around 4 and 25 instead of 7 and 4. Once again, I did not change the factors here. I just changed the order in which I did the factors. All right, now going on to distributive property. Um, now, once again, distributive property is actually not a multiplication. It's actually a multiplication and addition together. Uh, so what this says here is A, and then in parentheses, B plus C is the same thing as A times B plus A times C. Now, if I want to put this into practical use, let's say, for instance, we have 8 times 3 plus 8 times 7. Now, 8 is our common number here. So it's 8 times these two numbers. So instead of doing those separately, 8 times 3, 24, 8 times 7, 56, let's put them together. So we're going to do 8 times, and then we're going to add 3 and 7. So we know uh, 8, I'm oh, sorry, 3 plus 7 equals 10. And then we're going to multiply it times 8, which gives us 80. Now if we did it the other way, same exact answers, but this way it's just a little bit easier to solve. Okay, so all these properties can be used, and some of them can be used together. Um, let's say, for instance, if we want to use the commutative property and the associative property together, we can, because we want to change up the factors and change the order in what we do them in. Um, so uh, I think they had a pretty good understanding of this one. Uh, the assertive property is the only one that I see most of the problems at, um, just how to actually set that up. Uh, so this will be the one, if anything, that they should work on. All right. Hope this helps.